Hi, I'm Chris Lewicki, President of Planetary Resources, and I'm joined today by one of the newest additions to our team, Mr. Peter Marquez, joining the team as Vice President for Global Engagement. Welcome to the team, Peter. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be part of this team. Yeah, we're very excited to have you. You've really had, uh, you know, I've had kind of an interesting career in engineering. You've had an interesting career in policy. Uh, what are some of the things you've done so far in life? Um, I haven't landed on Mars, but uh, and I don't have an asteroid named after me. But well, t there is time. <laughs> there is yes. Um, I, I, um, I spent a lot of time working the national security side, uh, Pentagon, uh, Air Force, uh, and then my most recent government assignment was uh, working for President Bush and for President Obama as their director of space policy mm -hmm. and the National Security Council. So, in there, I got to see a lot of amazing things, a lot of amazing programs. Worked for two really good presidents and uh, finished up uh, essentially tidied up my career by finishing President Obama's national space policy as kind of his lead integrator for the space policy. So the national space policy, uh, that sounds important. Uh, what is the national space policy? The national space policy serves kind of two functions for our government. The first one is it broadcasts externally to the rest of the world. These are the intentions of the United States in space. This is what we're going to do and this is what we believe in with space. But the other part is, is telling the departments and agencies and the secretaries, this is what I want you to go do. So it's directive in nature, but also very clearly broadcast the intent of the United States for what our plan is for the space in the future. And the future in this case goes out decades uh, with some pretty lofty goals in there. That, Absolutely. Uh, really sets the direction of the country. Yeah. So uh, in terms of coming on the team, uh, you know, we're an asteroid mining company. You used to work at the White House. Uh, what, uh, what's the opportunity here uh, with uh, what we've got going on at Planetary Resources? It's, it's, it's an amazing experience to be part of this because you're, you're changing the world. Right? And when planetary resources meets its goals, it will change the world. And when you're working at the White House, you, you, you work on things daily that change the world. And when you're not there and you're not part of that anymore, you start to miss those things. Uh -huh. you, start to, you start to miss working on things that really impact people's lives and make the world better. And having the opportunity to be here allows me to you know get that rush again of being part of something that will change the world and so it's great to be part of this and, and to be able to to engage on something that that will change the world well I, you know I think that's why we're also so excited about it and have dedicated ourselves to it and in exploring space it's been something that for 50 years has been a government activity and uh, more and more lately we've got more uh, commercial companies who are making a go at it doing things that wouldn't took huge teams and huge amounts of money and now we're doing it with small teams. What's your view really on the commercial uh, take on space and, and uh, doing, why, why are we doing this today? What's, what's new about it that makes it a commercial enterprise now? Yeah, I mean, there are plenty of ways to, that you can uh, describe it. I think the, the latest uh, term is, is new space. Um, but for me, this is, this is the space community actually evolving to embrace what has been part of the DNA of, of America since its inception. This is the journey, the exploration, the embrace of, of free market. This is what planetary is all about. It's about pushing the boundaries, finding what's new, and then using market dynamics to get there. This is you know, building upon the shoulders of giants, utilizing what the government gave us, just like they did for Columbus coming to America, and just like Lewis and Clark did for opening up you know, the rest of the US. But then industry and explorers and people who tried to make the world better came in and filled in after that and made the country what it is. And now we're just, we're taking what we did to get to the Northwest and we're taking what we did to get to the, to get to America and we're doing this for outer space. You know, we don't have that much longer in a galactic time frame, speaking in relative terms, to be on this planet. Yeah. And we've got to start, you know, it sounds absurd, but we've got to start thinking about how we're going to go that next step. And this is the next step. Well, it's, it's exciting to think, you know, what we're doing is exploring. What we're doing is you know, on the edge of a frontier, and we're expanding that frontier. And yeah. our mission at Planetary Resources is expanding the economic sphere of humanity off the surface of this planet. Absolutely. And it'll be economic reasons that do that, and uh, really that's what we're all about. So... Where do you see this in 10, 20, 30 years? You know, what type of world are we creating? What future are we creating uh, in, in our pursuit of space exploration? For something that is as much of a game changer as planetary is, I could give you an answer, but I would be 100% wrong 10 years from now. Um, what we're opening up is opportunities from a resource standpoint, from a geopolitical standpoint. We're altering the course of humanity through this project. 
I mean, it sounds grandiose and it may actually sound laughable to some people, but that's really what this is about. I mean, it doesn't get any bigger. Um, and so 10, 15, 20 years from now, I see us in a place where we're a more productive society, a more highly efficient society, a society that firmly embraces you know, uh, exploration within the solar system, that it's not science fiction, that we're not constrained to LEO, that we have kind of low Earth orbit, um, that we are an, a, a uh, species of exploration. And that's, I think, planetary. Actually, I know planetary will get us there. Yeah. Very excited. We're very excited and honored to have you on board. You know, we've got very some of the smartest, most inspired, most passionate people, and I'm happy to count you among them. Welcome on board. Thanks. Looking I appreciate forward, it. Looking forward to creating the future with you. Absolutely. Great to be here.